Newton figured out gravity well enough that we could fly to the moon. Ever wonder if what we recognize about time is just the tip of the iceberg? His large concept isn't just an idea. It's like a key that might unlock a set of the universe's secrets, showing us things we never thought possible. So, how does Brian Cox's clean take change what we thought we knew about time? And what could that mean for how we see reality? Come along as we explore time itself based on Brian Cox's new theory. In the vast space around us, there are strange things about time and gravity, the fundamentals for how we exist. Imagine a world where time gets weird, speeding up or slowing down. And what if gravity isn't what we think it is? That's where Einstein's theories come in. He gave us a fresh way to look at the universe. Einstein's thoughts from the early 1900s are the foundation for understanding how time behaves when things move incredibly fast. He had two major theories. Special relativity and general relativity. The special theory from 1905 completely changed how we think about time and space. It says that the rules of physics are the same for everyone who isn't accelerating, no matter how they're moving. This concept gives us relativistic effects like time slowing down under certain conditions. To grasp how time slows, imagine a light clock on a fast-moving spaceship. A light beam bounces between mirrors. Since the speed of light is the same for everyone, the beam seems to travel farther to an outside observer, making it appear to take longer. That time difference is what Einstein called time dilation. Time slows for the moving observer compared to someone standing still. Motion changes time. Understanding how things change when moving fast isn't just an intellectual game. Scientists use machines like the Large Hadron Collider to speed up particles close to light speed. At that velocity, we must think about time differently to get accurate results. Einstein's special relativity from 1905 reshaped our view of the universe, especially regarding changes in time. It's not what we expect. It says physics rules are the same for everyone, regardless of their motion. Normally, we think adding speed makes something go faster, but Einstein said there's a speed limit. The speed of light. One strange result is that events occurring at the same time for one person might not for another moving quickly. Even length can change. Moving objects can appear shorter in the direction they're traveling. Then there's the famous equation. E equals mc squared. Showing that energy and mass can convert into each other. This helps us understand how tiny particles behave at high speeds and how nuclear reactions work. Special relativity isn't just theoretical. GPS technology uses it daily. GPS satellites move while sending signals, so time works a little differently for them. If we didn't account for time changes, GPS would be way off. So, special relativity tells us that time isn't the same for everyone. It depends on how they're moving. It's like our everyday view of the universe is slightly wrong. According to general relativity, time isn't fixed. It shifts with movement. Ideas like light speed being constant and the connection between energy and mass have been proven many times, but there's still more. Then comes Einstein's general relativity from 1915. It digs deeper into how gravity and the structure of the universe are linked. It tosses out the old idea that gravity simply pulls things together. Instead, it says gravity happens because space and time are curved. It's the natural path of objects moving through this curved space-time, not some invisible force. Think of space-time like a huge trampoline. Heavy object like Earth makes a dip. If you place a ball near Earth, it rolls toward the dip. That's like gravity, not a pulling force but a bending of space and time. General relativity explains how planets orbit the sun, even predicting why Earth's orbit is an oval not a circle. The old idea that gravity just pulls can't fully explain this. Einstein's theory says space and time are like a bendable fabric twisted by massive objects. A solar eclipse in 1919 proved this. Sir Arthur Eddington observed how starlight bent as it passed the sun. The theory predicted the sun's mass would alter the path of the starlight slightly. And that's what they saw, confirming the theory. Just as motion affects time in special relativity, gravity distorts time in general relativity. Where gravity is strong, time slows more than where it's weak. A clock near a black hole would tick slower than one farther away. General relativity gives us black holes, regions of extreme gravity where nothing can escape, not even light. 
The edge of a black hole is called the event horizon. Once something crosses it, it's gone. Einstein's theory has huge consequences for the universe. He initially added a cosmological constant to his equations because he thought the universe wasn't changing, but when it was discovered that the universe is expanding, he called that addition a big mistake. The idea of an expanding universe from general relativity is a key part of the Big Bang theory, explaining how the universe began. Another crucial concept is gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by massive objects moving rapidly. In 2015, scientists at LIGO detected gravitational waves, confirming another part of Einstein's theory. Over time, scientists have tested relativity thoroughly, and it keeps holding up, whether it's observing bent starlight or detecting gravitational waves. General relativity remains strong. Saying gravity is false is hard, especially since we feel it every day. In physics, people often explore alternative ideas. Some, like Brian Cox, challenge the standard views. One idea is MOND, modified Newtonian dynamics, which suggests gravity behaves differently at slow speeds inside galaxies, rather than needing invisible dark matter. MOND says gravity is stronger at low speeds. Discussions on gravity also bring up dark matter and dark energy to explain phenomena in space. Some say those aren't needed, that other theories work instead. Some scientists who question Einstein's gravity look into new possibilities like unknown particles or forces that might adjust gravity. New ideas are rigorously tested to see if they hold up. Einstein's concept of time in four-dimensional space, where time travel is limited by the speed of light, has inspired new theories. Concepts like shortcuts and wormholes have been explored by scientists like Stephen Hawking, who thought time travel was unlikely. Ongoing tests aim to see if these new theories can explain gravity properly. While many ideas have been suggested, nothing has yet beaten relativity. Questioning gravity and traditional views is essential to science. It allows us to learn more and better understand the universe. Gravity theories keep evolving, but relativity remains the best so far. Despite challenges and competing ideas, it performs well in tests and explains planetary motion and light bending. So, General relativity continues to be excellent because it's simple and explains a lot. As mentioned, special relativity says time changes with motion. So, how does that affect space travel? Space travel is difficult because space is vast. Einstein said light speed is the ultimate limit, and that makes interstellar travel very hard, even with advanced tech. Think of the twin paradox. One twin stays on Earth while the other zooms to a distant star. When the spacefaring twin returns, they've aged. Like sci fi. But this is relativity in action. Imagine a team going to a stellar system close by. The experience ought to take years, even going fast. How does Brian Cox's time idea mess with what we thought we knew? What could this suggest for how we see reality? Let's take a look at Brian Cox's new time theory and the big universe around us. There are secrets waiting to be discovered, like bizarre phenomena about time and gravity, that are extraordinarily important. Consider a world in which time is odd, speeding up or slowing down. And what if gravity isn't what it seems? That's where Einstein's relativity comes in, changing how we see time and gravity. Einstein gave us a new way to look at the universe with his relativity theories. His work helps us understand how time acts in different locations, especially when moving extremely fast. It all started around 1900, when Einstein shared two massive theories, special and general relativity. The special relativity theory from 1905 changed how we see time and space. It basically said that physics works the same for anyone who is not accelerating, no matter how they're moving. This leads to cool effects like time slowing down under special conditions. A great way to grasp time slowing down is to consider a light clock. Imagine being in a superfast spaceship. Inside there's a light beam bouncing between two mirrors. The speed of light is the same for everyone. So, the light appears to travel a longer path. The time it takes must be the same inside and outside the spaceship. But since the path seems longer for the outside observer, it appears like it takes longer for the light to complete its trip. This difference is what Einstein referred to as time dilation. Time slows down for the person moving, compared to the one standing still. 
Understanding how things change when they move fast isn't just a concept. Scientists use large machines like the Large Hadron Collider to make tiny particles move incredibly fast, almost the speed of light. When things move this fast, we have to think about time differently to get things right. Einstein's special relativity changed how we see the universe, especially when it comes to time. It messes with our everyday thinking. The laws of physics are the same for everyone, regardless of how they're moving. Unlike our usual thinking, where adding speed just makes things go faster, Einstein showed there's a top speed, the speed of light. Another cool result is length contraction. Moving objects appear shorter in the direction they're traveling, as seen from a stationary observer. Then there's the famous equation, E equals mc squared, it shows that energy and mass can be transformed into each other. This is key to understanding how tiny particles behave when moving fast and for things like nuclear reactions. Special relativity isn't just a fancy idea. We use it every day. GPS technology depends on it because GPS satellites are moving. Time behaves a bit differently for them. If we didn't account for time dilation, GPS would be wildly inaccurate. Special relativity shows us that time isn't the same for everyone. Depends on how things are moving. So time isn't fixed, it changes with motion. Ideas like the constancy of the speed of light and the connection between energy and mass have been demonstrated repeatedly. But there's still more. Einstein's general relativity theory from 1915 dives deeper into how gravity and the universe's shape are connected. It says gravity isn't just a force pulling things together. It happens because space and time are curved. Einstein's theories have reshaped the way we understand time and space, giving us tools to explore and predict complex cosmic phenomena. But as scientists keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding, new theories and ideas are being explored, possibly to enhance or even replace some aspects of relativity. One key area where these new ideas arise is quantum mechanics. While relativity works well on large scales, like explaining planetary motion or the bending of light by gravity, it struggles to explain phenomena at the quantum level, such as particle behavior on the smallest scales. Quantum mechanics which governs the behavior of subatomic particles, operates on a very different set of rules than Einstein's theories. For instance, particles can exist in multiple states at once, and their behavior is best described probabilistically. In contrast, relativity is deterministic and predicts exact outcomes. This disconnect between the quantum and relativistic worlds presents a challenge for physicists trying to unify these two models into a single theory of everything. One promising approach to bridge the gap is string theory. String theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of the universe aren't point-like particles but tiny vibrating strings. These strings may exist in multiple dimensions beyond our familiar three spatial dimensions and time, possibly as many as 10 or 11. These extra dimensions are thought to be compactified, meaning they are incredibly small and not observable at our scale. By incorporating additional dimensions, String theory could potentially reconcile the differences between relativity and quantum mechanics. Another rising concept is quantum gravity, which seeks to merge general relativity with quantum mechanics. In classical relativity, gravity is seen as the curvature of spacetime caused by mass and energy. But quantum gravity suggests this curvature might result from quantum fluctuations, tiny, random variations in a system's energy. These fluctuations could potentially be observed in the very fabric of spacetime, revealing a more granular structure at the smallest scales. A possible outcome of this research is the development of a quantum spacetime theory. This could provide new insights into the true nature of time and space, especially under extreme conditions like near black holes or during the earliest moments of the Big Bang. The study of quantum spacetime may even reveal that spacetime itself isn't a smooth, continuous entity but rather a dynamic, granular structure that behaves differently at the quantum level. The concept of time itself is also being re-examined in light of recent advances in physics. While Einstein's relativity introduced the idea that time isn't absolute, researchers like Brian Cox suggest there may be even deeper layers to the nature of time. What if time doesn't flow uniformly everywhere? Or what if it isn't a linear progression as we experience it? Some theories suggest that time might be cyclical, or even that the flow of time is an illusion, a result of how our brains interpret the universe. Exploring these ideas could have profound implications, 
Not just for physics but for our understanding of consciousness, the arrow of time and the nature of reality itself. In fact, some physicists are exploring the possibility that time is emergent, not fundamental. In this view, time arises from more basic processes like interactions between particles at the quantum level. If time is emergent, it may not be a consistent backdrop against which events unfold, but something that arises from the universe's underlying dynamics. This challenges the classical view of time as linear and could open up entirely new ways of understanding the cosmos. Another intriguing area of modern physics is the multiverse, the idea of parallel universes. According to some interpretations of quantum mechanics, every possible outcome of an event may occur in a separate, parallel universe. This idea, first proposed by Hugh Everett in the 1950s, has gained attention in recent years. If real, this would mean there are an infinite number of universes, each with its own version of time. Some might be similar to ours, while others could be vastly different. Studying parallel universes could reveal new insights into the nature of time and the fundamental structure of reality. Even once speculative ideas like wormholes and time travel are being taken more seriously by physicists, Einstein's relativity allows for the mathematical possibility of wormholes, shortcuts through spacetime that could, in theory, connect distant parts of the universe. But there's still a lot we don't know about how they might actually exist. Some researchers believe wormholes could allow faster-than-light travel, potentially opening the door to interstellar exploration and time travel. However, the practical challenges of creating or stabilizing a wormhole are immense, and many questions remain. One major unknown in understanding time and gravity is the role of dark matter and dark energy. These mysterious substances are thought to make up most of the universe, yet remain largely invisible to us detected only through their gravitational effects. Understanding how dark matter and dark energy interact with spacetime could be key to unlocking the deeper mysteries of gravity and time. Some scientists believe dark matter may even interact with gravity in ways we don't yet fully understand, potentially leading to new discoveries about the true nature of spacetime. In conclusion, while Einstein's theories of relativity have given us a powerful framework for understanding the universe, there's still much to discover. As we explore new ideas in quantum mechanics, string theory, quantum gravity, and the nature of time itself, we're beginning to realize the universe is far stranger and more complex than we ever imagined. Whether through new theories or discoveries, the future of physics holds exciting possibilities that could redefine our understanding of time, space, and reality itself. The journey is far from over.